first of all, I would send you greetings from uh, France to everybody mm. in uh, your great countries. And I would also send greetings to Vlastimir from uh, Arnica, an uh, old friend of mine. Uh, dakle, prije svega dobro jutro uh, vama, uh, vama iz Francuske, svima vama u svojim zemljama, a posebno pozdrav mom uh, prijatelju Vlastimiru. Yes, uh, I present me, my name is Roberto Eble, as you said, I am head of European Rivers Network, which is, and that is important maybe for you, a outcome organization, which is an outcome from a citizen, uh, citizen movement who fought in the past Uh, against the uh, big big dams on the Loire River. Uh, dakle, uh, dobro jutro, ja sam Roberto, proste prezme nisam upretila i on predstavlja organizaciju koja je zapravo uh, bila rezultat velikog uh, pokreta građanskog društva za uklanjanje velikih brana. Its name was SOS Loire Vivant, Living Loire, that means, and uh, today Uh, this organization is still existing, but as we work also on other rivers in France and around France, uh, that's why we have two names, European Rivers Network is the second one. Dakle, naziv naše organizacije SOS i naziv na francuskom koji znači Loara koja živi. Međutim, budući da se danas postoji pokret i da se borimo i za druge rijeke, ova organizacija ima i drugi naziv Evropska mreža. Ja, and I'm happy to speak to you. I know that you are all river fighters and you are fighting for beautiful rivers which I know because uh, I have been in the past, in the forward time and also in the new times now, been in all your countries and even on some of them I was by with my boat. So I know that you are defending maybe the best rivers we have still in Europe. Dakle, dobro jutro, dragi borci za rijeke. Uh, rijeke koje ja poznajem jer sam i u prošlosti i nedavno bio tu uh, sa svojim čamcem, tako da znam da vi u, su, u suštini branite neke od najboljih ili najpoznatijih uh, rijeka koje još imamo. The river you can see behind me is the Loire, the Loire River. Hmm? That's where I stay actually in France and some of, our pres- of my presentation is speaking from this river 1000 km long uh, in France. Dakle, uh, iza mene vidite sliku rijeke Loire gdje ja boravim, to je uh, rijeka u Francuskoj i moja uh, prezentacija će se baviti uh, 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 njome, uh, to je uh, rijeka koja je 1000 km duga. Uh, you can see on this map the location of the Loire river basin. The red point in the left side and the right side, of course, is the plate. Uh, uh, dakle, na, sorry, dakle, na karte vidite dvije crvene tačke uh, i poziciju, odnosno lokaciju uh, sliva rijeke Loare. Uh, ove crvene tačke su, yes. As you know, European rivers, but also worldwide, all the rivers, with only small exceptions, has been heavily fragmented or regulated. The map shows in red the areas with very, very fragmented rivers and uh, in uh, blue it is non-affected. Dakle, kao što znate, sve rijeke u Evropi uz neke rijetke izuzetke su izuzetno iscijepkane i jako izregulisane. Dakle, ono što je crvenim označeno, to su sve te rijeke koje su a, a, pod, a, jako ovaj, a, izregulirane, a plavim su onakve kakve su bile, dakle, ne, nedotaknute. Yes? This map shows you the time when we constructed a, a lot of big dams, even smaller ones all over in the world. It shows the numbers of dams which has been constructed from 1900 to 1990 and more. In uh, yellow is Europe, and the rest is the world. Okay. 
Na sljedećem slajdu zapravo vidimo prikaz vremena i broja brana koje su izgrađene diljem Evrope pa i svijeta. Dakle, dajemo konkretne brojke. Žuta od 1900. do 1990. godina. Žutim u ovim kolonama su označene Evropa, a ostatak svijeta je u ovoj smeđu Evropi. On this map you can see something other, which is very important. You can see that starting from 1990, not only main, less dams has, sorry, um, less the number of dams has been uh, lower than before in the 90s and It is the time where we started to remove dams and this is the topic of my presentation today. Uh, dakle, uh, kao što vidite na ovom grafiku, on u 1990. godina uh, je broj izgrađenih brana uh, znatno opao. Uh, zapravo je to vrijeme u odnosu na početak njihove gradnje kada su se te brane, kada smo mi počeli zapravo da uklanjamo uh, te brane. What are the reasons why many dams today, because they are coming old, as you have seen, I go back to my figure here, you can see that most of the dams has been constructed since 1950, maybe a little bit later. That means they are all now more than 60 or 70 or 80 years old. Kao što možete vidjeti na ovom grafikonu, većina brana je izgrađena negdje u periodu 50-ih, 60-ih i 70-ih. That means that some of them they are very old and we have to know in the future what we are doing with them. The primary reasons for dam removal, I'm showing it on this screen here, is the restoration of resident and migratory fish passage because of course the rivers are fragmented. Most of the dams are not equipped with fish ladders, especially if they are big. Just a second. Dakle, sad ovdje imamo razloge za uklanjanje brana. Prije svega radi se o branama koje su od neke od njih i 80. godina stare. I dakle, radi se o ekološkoj obnovi, dakle, obnovi stalnih i migratornih prolaza za ribe, jer većina tih brana, budući da je stara, nema takozvane ljestve za ribe i druge, drugu opremu potrebnu da bi ribe mogle prolaziti. Yes. Yeah, and also for improving the water quality, because as you know, reservoirs, are the place where water temperature is rising very fast. And of course, the natural sediment release and transport, as well as the restoration of riverine uh, or reservoir environment. These are ecological restorations, uh, ecological reason, re, sorry, these are the reason why we can remove dams for ecological restoration. I dakle, sljedeći razlozi za uklanjanje brana u svrhu ekološke obnove su poboljšanje kvalitet voda, jer kao što znate u rezervarima u kojima se voda zadržava, temperatura iste i vrlo brzo raste. Zatim se poboljšava otpust ili sedimenta prirodnog i njegov prenos i imamo obnovu okoliša koji je koji u okolici rezervara, odnosno riječnih obara. Another important safety concern is a point is safety concerns mm -hmm. because many of these dams are old mm -hmm. or maybe too old. There can be a big problem. Uh, there can be a dam failure. Uh, and also it's for eliminating potential loss of life, of life because we start to have accidents now with all dams. And in the past, it passed even In the past, we had big, big catastrophes in Europe. Okay. Uh, one of them uh, was in France. Uh, jedan od sljedećih razlozi za uklanjanje velikih brana su prije svega uh, činjenica da su to bran, uh, brane koje su vrlo stare, neke od njih, da tako kažemo, i prestare, uh, što samo po sebi može biti veliki problem u smislu sigurnosti, što može dovesti do uh, uh, gubitka života i nesreća, 
dakle, onakvi kakvi smo već i imali u Francuskoj reci. In the past, in Europe, nobody knows it. There have been two big, big, big catastrophes with dams. Uh, one was in Italy uh, with uh, more than 3,000 people dead, killed. And the other one was in France with over 400 people killed because of the failure of the dams. Dakle, niko to u Evropi ne zna da su već bile dvije katastrofalne nesriče u Evropi vezane za popuštanje brana. Jedna je bila u Italiji kada je poginulo, ubijeno i nestalo preko 3000 ljudi, a druga je bila u Francuskoj kada je rezultat te nesreće bilo gubitak oko 400 života. Another reason can be the economic reasons, because it could be very expensive to restore the dam and to make him uh, uh, conform to the new uh, legislation. So uh, it's a question in sometimes that it is maybe cheaper to destroy them than to, to restore it. Dakle, drugi razlog uh, za uklanjanje brana je, uh, dakle, sljedeći razlog su ekonomski razlozi. Radi se naime o tome da uh, bi je u većini u, 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 tih slučajeva, uh, da bi nekad bilo preskupo pre zapravo izvršiti obnovu kako bi se te brane uskladile sa novim, novo donešenim zakonima, te je jeftinije u nekim slučajevima srušiti te brane nego ih obnavljati. Yes? Yes, ok. There is another point uh, which is not on the slide uh, why dams should be or can be removed is because many, many dams of the one million obstacles we have actually in European countries, including your countries, mm -hmm. there is about one million of obstacles mm -hmm. and over 80%, 80% mm -hmm. of them are non-predictive. They are just old. I'm speaking about smaller and middle-sized uh, uh, dams or, or wares, yes? More than 80%, that means 800,000 obstacles are non-productive, are just there and they are not doing nothing. Dakle, isto tako jedna od tačaka koje želim napomenuti kao razlog za utvanjanje brana, a koja nije navedena na slajdu je činjenica da u Evropi ima preko 1 milion takvih prepreka i moramo istaći da 80% njih srednji koje se nalaze na rijekama srednje i male veličine zapravo nisu operativne, ne rade ništa, nema proizvodnjena. Yes? Yeah, okay. So, dam removal is becoming uh, something, something very actual. But, uh, of course, the dam removal idea is only a part of a very efficient way to restore rivers. Because the it is not possible to remove all the dams. We know that. And, uh, and maybe we have just to select the black sheep, you know, the, the, uh -huh. the, those who were very, very uh, dangerous for the rivers. Dakle, postoji, dakle, ideja o uklanjanju brana kao takva je samo dio cijele ideje da se ide kao obnovi rijeka. Naravno da se ne mogu ukloniti sve brane, Međutim, recimo da bismo mogli krenuti u priču, da bismo mogli krenuti s tim da uklonimo takozvane crne ovce ili recimo kritične tačke u tom smislu. In France, which is the leading country in dam removal in Europe and worldwide together with United States, we are speaking about a policy which is either you remove them or then you modify them, or then you avoid new dams. This is a good way to restore okay. rivers and to keep... Uh, uh, mi u Francuskoj, koja je vodeća zemlja u ovoj uh, ideji i nastojanjima uklanjanju brana u Evropi, svijetu i, i, i uključujući SAD, uh, zagovaramo politiku koja se sastoji od toga ili ih uklanjamo, ili ih modificiramo, ili uh, ih uh, adaptiram, uh, modificiramo, odnosno adaptiramo uh, u skladu sa ovim novim zahtjevima. Now I am telling you a little bit about the history of dam removal. Mm -hmm. The first dam removal, imagine you, mm -hmm. has been done 
1998 in France. Mm -hmm. uh, just a second. Dakle, prva, sad ću vam reći nekoliko podataka vezano za istoriju uklanjanja brana. Dakle, prvo uklanjanje brana je uh, izvršeno u Francuskoj 1998. Okay. There, was, there was three dams in France mm -hmm. and uh, two other ones in the United States, mm -hmm. which has been the first ever removed dams. This was something completely new in this time. You imagine after a uh, uh, hundred years of dam building, we start to remove them. It's just... Uh. Uh, Crazy. <laughs> dakle, kad pogledate ovdje, radi se o tri brane koje su uklonjene u Francuskoj, navedene su ovdje koje na, na, na kojim rijekama i dvije u 99. u SAD-u. I zamislite, nakon sto godina izgradnja brana, došli smo do toga da ih zapravo uklanjamo. To je potpuno luda, luda ideja bila. Yes? And all of these rivers has been all of these dams has been removed for the same reason all of them there was for salmon restoration and safety reasons because this was uh, a very important concern because salmon worldwide uh, decreased uh, due to them Uh, dakle, razlog za uklanjanje svih ovih brana koje vidite na ekranu uh, bila su dva razloga. Jedan je uh, obnova ribljeg fonda lososa, a druga su bili sigurnosni razlozi, uh, jer kao što znate, uh, uh, losos je uh, ugrožen uh, diljem, uh, diljem Evropi. But those dams mentioned on these slides here was the first official removals. I mean, official, officially decided. But before 1990-60, there was another removal, which I show on this slide in the United States. Uh, just a second. Dakle, uh, kad govorimo o branama o kojima smo upravo govorili kao onima koje su uklonjene, uh, to su prve brane koje su uklonjene temeljem uh, zvanično odnesenih odluka o uklanjanju, ali prije toga je bilo, kao što vam pokazujem sliku, u Sjednjim američkim državama je došlo također do nekih uklanjanja, yes. This dam you can see, this former dam you can see, is on a Salmon River in, 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 in Idaho in the United States. And it has been destroyed by Indians and by local citizens because this dam was out of use and just uh, and blocked all the Salmon running. So they destroyed it themselves. Dakle, ova brana koju vidite na slici, nju su, uh, se, zo, se nalazi na takozvanoj rijeci u kojoj ima lososa uh, i uklon, u, u državi Idaho, u uh, uh, Sjedinjemečkim državama. Uklonili su je indijanci i lokalni stanovnici sami, budući da više uh, brana kao takva nije bila uh, korištena ni u kojoj svrhe i oni su odlučili da sami uklonili. I have seen this place in 1990, uh, 1970, around that, yes. So mm -hmm. I was very inspired by that. And I said to me, Roberto, we should do that in Europe. I ja sam uh, sam uh, bio na ovoj rijeci 70-ih godina, uh, uh, dobio sam inspiraciju i rekao sam sebi, Roberto, to je nešto što i mi moramo uraditi. So you can see we started in France with the first dam removal and this is a little comics about what happens, you know, liberté, égalité, dam rem removality. So it's just a joke. Dakle, kao što vidite na sljedećem, ovo je mali crtež, odnosno u kojem smo napisali na jedan šaljiv način šta se dešava sa čuvenim sloganom francuske Liberty, Egalité, Fraternité, znači ovdje se radi sloboda, jednakost i uklanjanje brana. Now the dam removal uh, is uh, in France uh, and uh, worldwide is an outcome of uh, fights of citizens. And in France was the Living Loire campaign in 1986 was the beginning of the idea, yes, to remove dams. Uh, dakle, uh, uh, pokret za uklanjanje brana uh, uh, je zapravo bio rezultat borbe građana uh, i koja je počela sa uh, takozvanom uh, kampanjom uh, Livi Gloire ili uh, uh, Loara koja živi i ona je počela da, uh, 80... Uh, have you said 1996 or 1986? Sorry. 86. Okay, thank you. 
1986. Yes, because after years of a fight due to the citizen movement Loire River, mm -hmm. uh, not only for the Loire River, yes, the whole basin, which is very big, it's a one fifth of France, yes. Mm -hmm. After the seven year long fight, the French government decided to stop the construction mm -hmm. of new dams, large, and to remove three mm -hmm. dams. Uh, dakle, nakon godina građanske, prije svega uh, borbe, uh, borbe pokreta uh, 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 Lara koja živi, uh, uh, koja se, koji se odnosio ne samo na rijeku Loaru, nego na njen cijeli sliv, a morate imati na umu da se radi o jednoj petini uh, francuske teritorije, Dakle, nakon sedam godina borbe, vlada Francuske je odlučila da obustavi izgradnju novih vrana i da neke ukloni. Yeah, you can see the main of the three dams here on this map. One was uh, nearby the Loire mouth of the river, and the other one was in the center of the river basin, and another one, a big one, was here up in the region of the springs. And later on, the other red points also uh, re representing dams, which has been removed. But the first three was the big red points. Dakle, prve tri uh, uh, brane koje su uklonjene su one tri velike tačke. Jedna je na ušću, jedna malo više uh, i uh, jedna blizu, uh, blizu samog izvora. Ostale ma uh, manje, uh, manje crvene tačke su tačke gdje su uklonjene brane uh, uh, na drugim mjestima. Yes? This, this is the first Mm -hmm. moved in France, in, in, in the world, because it was the first, even before U.S. started some months before. This mm -hmm. dam is on the Liger really, a river in, in uh, nearby, in the north of Nantes, in the north of the mouth of the Loire River in Brittany. Mm -hmm. Dakle, ovo je, ovdje imate sliku na, sa, koja pokazuje uklanjanje prve brane, 96. na Liger Nil rijeci, koja je uh, koja se nalazi u Bretanji. Yeah, the second one, sorry. Mm -hmm. This okay. uh, another dam which has been removed. Sorry. Uh, uh, sad ćemo vidjeti još uh, još jednu branu koja je bila uklonjena. Yeah, it is the Saint-Étienne de Vigon dam which is on the spring in the rear the region of the spring of the Loire and the Allier river system. It was a main, a main obstacle for salmon migration, and I will show you that through a video. Please prepare the video. Uh, uh, just a second, Roberta. Dakle, they are preparing it. Ovo se, ovdje se radi uklanjanje ubrane na izvoru rijeke Loare, koja je i predstavljala zapravo jednu od glavnih prepreka za migraciju losa.
So you have seen that um, this was uh, in 1998, first dam removal ever happens. And it was uh, really sexist and very spectacular. Uh, only... only three months, only three months after the um, after the removal, mm -hmm. we have observed salmon swimming up to breed upstreams. Mm -hmm. And today, uh, many, many salmons are going through as thousands of years before. Dakle, uh, samo tri mjeseca nakon uklanjanja ove velike brane, mi smo uočili uh, losos, uh, ribu koja se kreće uzvodno ka mriješćenju i nakon toga se slijedile mnoge druge vrste uh, lososa. But not only big dams, of course, are a problem. Also many, many small dams. As you can see on my slide, Međutim, nisu samo problem velike brane, nego su to i mnoge, mnogobrojne, zaista mnogobrojne male brane koje možete vidjeti na slajdovima. Yes, you can see, this is France, the French territory. And you can see that we have made an inventory with 80,000 thousand structures mm -hmm. which are blocking uh, the rivers. Kao što vidite, ovo je teritorija Francuske. Mi smo popisali sve građevine koje blokiraju rijeke i kao što vidite, podatak je da je preko 80.000 struktura, što brana, što drugih vrsta, zapravo blokira rijeke. And only 10% of those had still economical use. Samo 10% njih od ovih 80.000 ima neku ekonomsku korist, od njih se ima neka ekonomska korist sada. So the best way, of course, to help rivers was to establish a plan where we should start with removal and then, if possible, Uh, on the places where migration uh, happened to have a efficiency uh, in terms of river restoration. So we did a master, a master plan. Dakle, najbolji način na koji se moglo krenuti u ovaj posao da se izradi takozvani master plan ili veliki plan uklanjanja Dakle, ovih brana i to smo počeli sa uklanjanjem brana na migracijskim rutama. Dakle, krenuli smo od tog velikog master plana. In 2009, so about 10 years after the first dam removals I showed you, we have set up a French policy to establish the ecological continuity in a framework of a national wide project with the objective to remove to 1200 obstacles including a legal and the financial framework dakle mi smo 2009 dakle 10 godina nakon fizičkog uklanjanja prve brane uspostavili francusku odnosno nacionalnu politiku kojom se uspostavlja takozvani ekološki kontinuitet. Prvi korak je bilo uklanjanje 1200 tih prepreka blokada, a u sve to smo uključili zakonodavni i finansijski okvir. In 2009 also there was an official decision to remove, to remove two large dams on the Selin River and one of them was more than 37 meters high and not a big dam. Two other big dams. I will show you later on. Dakle, 2009. smo donijeli zvaničnu odluku da se uklone dvije velike brane na rijeci Selur. Selun, jedna od njih je bila preko 37 metara visoka, a kasnije u videu ću vam pokazati kako je to izgledalo. And in 2010, there was a signature between NGOs, electricity company and the state, for a convention for sustainable hydropower, what is 
high, uh, sustainable hydropower. Mm -hmm. uh, it's difficult to explain it, yes? But okay. in uh, this... Just a second, just a second. Go on. Znači, 2010. je potpisana konvencija za održivu hidroenergiju. Potpisana je između nevladinih organizacija i jedne američke kompanije iz SAD-a. E sad, šta je to održiva hidroenergija? To je malo teško objasniti. Which was important in this convention was the fact that electricity companies, big, big ones, yes, they agreed with us, with us that mm -hmm. dam removal is a possibility in case of very, very, very uh, harming dams. Dakle, ono što je važno da su se u ovom u ovoj konvenciji velike elektrokompanije, dakle veliki sistemi najveći, zapravo složile s nama da je uklanjanje brana zapravo rješenje u slučajima kada su štete velike. In the framework of this French policy built up, set up in 2009, today more than 2,500 small and large obstacles has been removed on the French territory. A u okviru ove, dakle, politike, francuske nacionalne politike koju smo pominjali, do danas je uklonjeno preko dvije i po hiljade velikih prepreka, odnosno blokada. 2.500 from 80.000 in total. I govorimo o brojci koja kaže dvije i po hiljade od ukupno 80.000. A very successful policy. It was too successful because... In 2012, they started opposition against the dam removal of small dams. Dakle, ta politika je bila, čini mi se, i preuspješna, obzirom da su 2012. počeli da se javljaju protivnici ove politike koja je uspored. As I said to you, dam removal is one example to restore rivers very efficiently. But another one is all okay. Dakle, jedan od načina, kao što sam već rekao, je potpuno uklanjanje brana, ali isto tako, yes. The other solution is, besides avoiding new dams, is to remove partially or to reconfigurate existing dams to make them better. Okay. A drugo rješenje je takozvano djelimično uklanjanje, koje, dakle, kaže da će se one rekonfigurirati ili modificirati na način da će se djelomično ukloniti. And this is an example which actually is nearby completed three years ago only after a 30-year-long campaign we made the The last biggest obstacle on the Alia Loire Vivant system mm -hmm. has been partially removed. E da, ovo je još jedan primjer. Dakle, nakon uh, 30-godišnje kampanje uh, da se ukloni dakle, najveća uh, prepreka na uh, sistemu rijeka Alia Loire, uh, 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 prije tri godine zapravo se počelo uh, uh, s, ovim ra ra s radom na ovoj brani. That, that means modifying these dams and remove it partially means that we are reducing the height, the height of the dam from 20 meters down to 6 meters. Dakle, to je u praksi značilo da će se visina brane koja je bila 20 metara smanjiti na 6. It includes also new, two, two large gates You can see it on the right photo uh, down on the right side. Two big slates which can be opened during the migration period of mm -hmm. salmons during three months every year. A, a na desnoj slici uh, uh, možete vidjeti, to vam pokazujem, da uh, je tu ugrađene su takozvana vrata uh, koja se mogu otvoriti tokom tromjesečnog migracijskog perioda uh, lososa. The rest of the year, when the dams, when the, the gates are not open, then we have on the left side here a classical fish litter, letter, uh, ladder with a lift, and then the right side we have a, a down migration uh, system for uh, 
small fishes. I dakle, a ostatak godine se koriste klasični alati za za prolaz riba, to je takozvani lift ili ili ove ljestve i prilazni prilazne ovaj prilazni prostor za za njih. Dragana, I have seen that somebody will enter in the conference. Should uh, I ad admit? I, I, I accept it, okay? Okay, I can do it. Yeah, we, we did it. Don't worry about that. Okay, okay, it's done. Okay, so in this way, uh, more than 85% of the former hydropower production is saved. Mm -hmm. So this was a compromise. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, Go on. Na, na, na ovaj način smo, dakle, ovim dijelimičnim uklanjanjem, uspjeli uh, spasiti i sačuvati 85% uh, ranije proizvodnje uh, hidroenergije. Mm -hmm. To je bio kompromis. Yeah, it is. Actually, this uh, works are under the way, and you can see here a photo which I made you can see the river coming uh -huh. out of the picture and then you can see the former dam here uh, in this area which is under under recomplication Dakle, evo slike koja pokazuje, dakle, to su radovi koji se trenutačno odbije i ovaj centralni dio koji je pokazao gospodin Kursorom je trenutni fokus ovih građaninskih radova na ovome o čemu je on pričao. And this is how it was in March this year. You can see that the dam, the former dam on the left side, you can see the full height. Mm -hmm. And in the center, you can see that uh, there is a lower dam under construction. And now these works are nearby finished. Mm -hmm. And in only uh, one month, mm -hmm. the gates will be opened for the first time. Uh, dakle, kao što vidite, s lijeve strane se nalazi konstrukcija brane, stara konstrukcija brane u punoj visini. Ovo u sredini je ono što uh, će za mjesec dana, dakle, uh, radovi su pri kraju, a za mjesec dana se uh, očekuje prvi, prvi put otvaranje ovih uh, vra, takozvanih vrata ili kapije za prolaz uh, 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 ribe. You can see five key ingredients for successful dam removal. Mm -hmm. There is legal triggerage, trigger and leverage, ecological and social benefits, community supports. Of course, you need funds to do it, and patience and perseverance. Years and years dakle, and years. Dakle, moramo, dakle, evo, pet ključnih sastojaka koji čine, koji dovode do uspješnog uklanjanja brana, a to su nekakav pravni pokretač ili pravna ravnoteža, zatim imamo ekološke i društvene koristi, podršku zajednice, funding, odnosno sredstva koja su vam potrebna za to i naravno posvećenost, odnosno strast i upornost, jer vam trebaju godine i godine rada da biste to postigli. Yes, now the historical third, the third part of the history of removal is uh, underway. Mm -hmm. uh, in 2015, 15, yeah? Yeah, okay. So, okay, in 2015, mm -hmm. European River Net, 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 Net Rivers Network is co founding the dam removal movement Europe which is a confederation, a kind of network, yes, mm -hmm. between several organizations which uh, in Europe are interested to promote dam removal. Dakle, ovo je malo istorije kako smo došli do uklanjanja brana. Dakle, Evropska mreža za rijeke je 2015. Dakle, učinjena. 2015. stvorila nekakvu vrstu konfederacije mnogobrojnih organizacija koje su se usmjerile ka cilju uklanjanja brana. Yes, and in 2018, in several other countries, 
mm -hmm. uh, like Spain, Scandinavian countries, but also in Slovenia and maybe also in Croatia, I think. Mm -hmm. We have uh, a beginning of uh, dam removal all over, and maybe in another five years, mm -hmm. it will be a part of river, rest river, rest river restoration mm -hmm. uh, methods all over in Europe. Dakle, 2018, uklanjanje brana je počelo u nekim drugim evropskim zemljama, kao što su Španija, Skandinavske zemlje, Slovenija, možda i Hrvatska, nisam o tome sigura. Međutim, čini mi se da smo onda možda došli u situaciju da je to nekakav početak uklanjanja brana generalno. Ja, and in 2020, back in France, we started the biggest ever had, the biggest ever dam removal worldwide um, in terms of volume. It's the biggest dam removal in all the world on mm -hmm. the Selen River. And I will show you some pictures on that. Please prepare the video. Dakle, 2020. smo počeli sa uklanjanjem, dakle, sa uklanjanjem koje se odnosi na najveću branu u smislu zapremine vode koju zadržava na svijetu. I, uh, Just to say, to tell you how long it times it can take uh -huh. to come to dam removal. Uh, dakle, prije nego što pustimo video, reći ću vam samo koliko mnogo vremena zapravo treba dok ne dođemo uh, do uklanjanja same brani. We, we did more than 20 years long campaign, yes, but one... Once the, 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 the policy level has decided to, to destroy a dam, such a big dam, mm -hmm. uh, it takes a long time. Mm -hmm. Imagine uh, you, in, 2000, in 2004, uh -huh. that means 70 years uh, or even more, 18 years ago from today, yeah. there was a request from electricity running company to have a new concession, you know, to, to produce again uh, electricity. Aha. Uh, dakle, uh, uh, zapravo ovdje se radi o vremenskom rasponu preko dva, skoro 20-ta godina. 2014. Uh, dakle, skoro 18 godina u odnosu na današnji datum, uh, elektrokompanija je zapravo ponovo zatražila uh, koncesiju za uh, proizvodnju električne energije. Yes? Yeah, and, and in 2007, that was the end of this concession, yes? And 2009, after our pressure of our, our campaigns, the state decided in 2009 to remove the dam and not to renew, to remove the dam and yeah. not to renew. I, uh, dakle, radi se o tome da je koncesija za koju su produženje tražili uh, isticala dvije, uh, istekla dvije sedme, I vlada je nakon strašnih pritisaka s naše strane umjesto produženja koncesije odlučila da ukloni bran. So you can see uh, that uh, then uh, from 2009 on in 2012 the official decision has been taken and in 2019 the preparation works started and in 2020 the real destruction has begun. Dakle, vidite ovdje ovaj vremenski protok. Od 2009. do 2012. je zapravo se provodila ova procedura vezano za uklanjanje. 2019. do 2020. su vršeni pripremni radovi i zapravo je realizacija samog uklanjanja brane počela 2020. pa bi trebala biti gotova do 2022. Ja? The main arguments for this dam removal has been environmental arguments, mm -hmm. the continuity, yes, mm -hmm. of course, and uh, the, also the, the, the result of studies that show that there is no other technical solution to restore continuity on this former Salmon River. Mm -hmm. Uh, dakle, glavni razlozi za uklanjanje ove velike brane su bili ekološki, uh, okolišni razlozi, uh, razlozi uh, vezani za zakonodavstvo, odnosno kontinuitet i sve studije su pokazale da nema drugog rješenja uh, da bi se održao kontinuitet ove bivše uh, losos, takozvane rijeke, uh, nego njeno uh, rušenje. The second part 
is the legislation. It was shown clearly that this river was in a protected area for the European eel and for salmons. And secondly, that it was impossible to achieve the water frame directive targets mm -hmm. with this dam regarding okay. water quality uh, dakle, uh, and the razlog, aquatic ecosystem. Uh, sorry, drugi razlog su bili uh, zakonodavni razlozi. Naime, radi se o tome da uh, su to zaštićena područja, pogotovo za jegulje i lososa. Uh, isto tako je zaključeno da je bilo nemoguće postići ciljeve okvirne direktive o vodama iz 2015. ukoliko se dakle, uh, ostva, ostavi, uh, ukoliko ta brana ne bude uh, uklonjena. A vezano za to, uh, uh, dakle, uh, i to posebno vezano za kvalitet voda i uh, konzervaciju uh, 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 vod, vodnih uh, ekosistema. The last point is the social and economical arguments. Mm -hmm. Because this dam produced only low level, low production of electricity. They was very old mm -hmm. and uh, there was no, no important uh, production, yes? Dakle, još jedan od razloga, treća grupa, kategorija razloga su socijalni, odnosno društveni i ekonomski argumenti. Radi se o hidroenergiji koja je, dakle, njena proizvodnja, količina proizvedene energije bila vrlo mala zbog niskih kapaciteta, odnosno same starosti ove elektrane. Ja, and even if the dam was very high, Yes, 37 meter high, but the water the water quantity is not very big. That's why the low capacity of the plants has been uh, argument. Da, a argument kao uh, niskog malog kapaciteta je naveden zbog činjenice da je koja je sama brana 37 metara visoka, uh, volumen, odnosno zapremina vode koju je uh, zadržavala i koristila je bio mali, tako da je sama proizvodnja uh, bila uh, uh, niska. And there was also social benefits because <coughs> fishing would become possible again because the two dams, once they are removed, will open more than 75 kilometers of river, best quality river. Da, i drugi, drugi argumenti su bili društvene koristi. Dakle, ribarstvo će ponovo biti moguće budući da se rušenje brane uh, otvara 75 oslobađa zapravo 75 km obale rijeke. Also it was possible in the same uh, region locally to produce other renewable energy because mm -hmm. there is enough wind they are close to the sea there mm -hmm. is enough wind. Dakle drugi razlog je uh, bio to što regionalno uh, dakle, u, u blizini rijeke postoje uh, ostale, uh, uh, ostali izvori obnovljive energije, prije svega vjetar, budući da su blizu obale mora. Yeah, and now the last point just before we start the film is that was a big, that is a big potential for conversion uh, into a sustainable tourism mm -hmm. because you have to know that we are very close to the Bay of Saint Michel uh, the world uh, UNESCO uh, site, heritage site, maybe you know it. Dakle, uh, i treći razlog je bio zapravo mogućnost uh, prelaska na turizam, budući da je samo područje gdje, uh, o kojem se radi vrlo blizu mjesta San Michel, uh, a što je na unesco listi uh, uh, svjetskog prirodnog nasljeđa. Please uh, sta start the film. We will interrupt the film when I say stop, and then we go to the end, which is on 10.15. Do you understand? We interrupt the film after okay. about five minutes, and then we go to the end of the film at 10 minutes and 15 seconds, and then I show you the last sentence. Okay, okay. start with the film, please.
the Bay Saint Michel in the Normandy. There, the river Selune, a historical Salmon River, ends in the sea. Only about 50 upstreams, there are two dams, big dams. Ça intéresse l'ensemble d'un bassin versant, c'est-à-dire que ça n'intéresse pas simplement une petite portion de rivière parce que le premier barrage qui est mis en place est à 14 km de la mer sur un cours d'eau qui en fait 100 km, de sorte qu'il y a 74 km actuellement qui ne sont pas accessibles, en particulier aux poissons migrateurs. De sorte que l'effacement va permettre de réouvrir ces zones et qu'on va pouvoir travailler à l'ensemble de l'échelle d'un bassin versant. One of them, the 37 meters high Vézin Dam, has been dismantled in 2020. So after the complete removal of the Vézin Dam, the Selin River is back in its former riverbed on a stretch of about 20 kilometers. But what's about the second dam, which is still there, blocking Salmons, the roche bois Dam? What's going on there? Ici, on se trouve sur le chantier de gestion des sédiments du barrage de la roche bois C'est pour EDF la première étape de renaturation de la vallée de la Célune. La deuxième étape, ça sera... EDF, the big French electricity company, is in charge to remove this dam, 16 meters high and about 130 meters large. They have started to remove at least 200,000 meters cube of sediments. They have to displace them and to 
dry and to stock. These sediments are extracted with the suction dredgers that can lead to a 20 meters depth. This dredger allows to put the sediment in suspension again and to pump them on a 4 km length. Then the sediments are stored in geotubes on an area of about 400.5 hectares. This technology allows the sediments to be filtered. Once the solid material is dry enough, we open the geotubes and spread the sediments on the bank to try to reprofile the valley a little bit. The works are not completed yet. That's why I want to interview the... Now you can stop the film and go to 10.15, please. Uh, to go for the remaining cubic meters of sediments per week. Next fall, we will begin to empty the reservoir, and this operation will be monitored on two key points water quality, don't shrink from the dam, and compliance with the law, which stipulates that the impoundment must be lowered gradually. Before the end of 2021, we will begin the deconstruction, and we plan to end the La Roche-Quibois dam removal by the end of 2022. So thank you very much, Mr. Cholet. Congratulations to you and to EDF for this uh, exemplary removal we have on the saline. And we hope that we can come back to a free saline uh, in the winter 2022 to 2023. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, it's time. Every year, salmons are waiting in the Bay of Saint Michel, waiting to swim upstream. Yes, it's time to free Sicilian River forever. So this is the story I would tell you. I hope it was interesting for you. And I'm more or less in time. If there are any questions, I don't know how we deal with that, but it was a pleasure for me to tell you this beautiful story. Thank you very much. And I hope you will have successful days to restore and to save rivers in your beautiful countries there. Goodbye.